Today we're going to do a fitness circuit. Now what is a circuit? A circuit is a series of different exercises that we do in a row. And today what we're going to do is each exercise for 30 seconds and then we're going to take 10 seconds to catch our breath. Now our circuit today is only going to have four exercises. It can have many more, but today we're going to concentrate on four. Now in my opinion, circuit training is the best way for most people to train because it addresses several components of fitness all at once. We're going to be doing mostly strength exercises like modified push-ups, curl-ups, and squats today. So those increase our strength, which is how much force your muscles can produce. Because we're doing them for 30 seconds and then continuing to do different exercises, we're also increasing our, our muscular endurance and our aerobic capacity. Now we're going from exercise to exercise to exercise. And because of that, our heart is never going to stop working. It's going to keep beating faster and faster and faster all the way through. So along with strength and endurance in our muscles, we're also increasing the strength of our heart and increasing the ability of our heart and lungs to function well. And that's why circuit training is so amazing. So today, the exercises we're going to do are modified push-ups, curl-ups, squats, and then we're going to do a fun one here with my little drum set. Now... I'm using a, a stability ball, which many of you won't have. If you don't have this, get a cardboard box, get a bucket, get a laundry basket, it doesn't matter. If you don't have two little pool noodles like this, get some drumsticks, get some pencils, get some chopsticks, anything will work, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start with this one. This is what we're going to do on this station. So we'll do 30 seconds. You can do them both at the same time, or one at a time. You can go as fast as you want if you hit starting hard. You can slow it down a little bit. All right, we're also going to be doing squats. Now squats are one of your second grade standards. It's a very important exercise for you to know how to do. It strengthens all of our leg muscles, our quadriceps, our hamstrings, the gluteus maximus. And it's a very important strength exercise. Now to do it, we're gonna keep our feet uh, flat on the ground and they should be relatively close to each other. So about shoulder width apart. We don't wanna be too far apart. And we definitely don't want them next to each other. This is a big mistake many students make at the beginning. So we're going to be right about here. Then we're simply going to extend our arms. We're going to look straight ahead and we're going to sit in a chair that's not there. All the way to about there. And then we're going to come back up. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see it. Again, feet are even, about shoulder width apart, arms go in front of you. You look straight ahead, never look down, never look around, look straight ahead. Go nice and low, back up. That's a squat. Now after that, we're going to do modified push-ups. Now this is also another big second grade standard that many students make a mistake on. Now to start, we're just going to go down to our knees and our hands, just like this, like a cat or a dog. Your hands should be about shoulder width apart, right here. Now, they're even with your chest. Very important to remember that. The mistakes many students make is they put them too far in front of themselves. So we're going to start here. Now the next thing we're going to do is move your hands forward a little bit, and then we're going to shift our hips towards the ground. We're going to bring our feet up in the air. So now our body should be nice and straight, and we're going to go down, nice and low, back up. Now I'm going to be using this little ball here, and I'm going to touch my chest on it. It's nice and soft. Yeah, I'm going to put my chest on it every single time. And notice it's right between my hands. That will help you also to make sure you're lined up correctly. I'm going to touch my chest to the ball. I'm not going to let my thighs touch the ground. And I'm going to push back up. So my hips and thighs shouldn't touch. Only my knees are on the ground. Down, up. Now there's two main mistakes that students make on this one. Number one, as I mentioned, hands too far in front of you. If your hands aren't next to your object, you're going to look like this. Okay, another big mistake is staying in this position. Instead of shifting the hips forward like we're supposed to, students stay up here and look like this. This is not a modified push. -up. So sometimes it helps if you uh, to have somebody watch you as you're doing these. Okay, and the last one we're going to do is the curl up. On the curl up, we're going to put our feet flat on the ground. We're going to lay all the way down. We're going to cross our hands over our chest. So they should touch our opposite shoulder. And we're going to bring our elbows up. Now we're going to try and come up, bring your shoulder or elbows to your knees, down, up, down. Now, if you get tired and you can't continue to go all the way up, 
We don't want you to lift your feet off the ground so you can just get all the way up. This is just rocking. This is not a curl up. And instead, you'll do a crunch. Just like this. Just come about halfway. Keep your head neutral. And you're doing crunches. These are fine. And then after that, we'll start the circuit again. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. One, Let's do it again. All right, everybody stay healthy. We'll see you in the next session.